Wow, I didn't expect the lodge to be this big, and the books are in pretty good quality too. But wait, there's another one of the alchemists. Oh, what a blessed day. We came in search of old books and instead we found two keepers of spectral familiars. We? What is that supposed to mean? What is up guys? We are back with some more Monster Sanctuary. We're here in the dungeon, strong Stronghold Dungeon, and I did a little bit of grinding up and I changed up at least my like first row of, uh, of monsters to fight with. I think you're gonna like this layout that I have. Um, so it's pretty much gonna be like focused on buffing up Nova or the Spectral Wolf uh, and doing like a lot of physical or magical damage. Oh, there you are. I was just taking a break to examine the architecture of this place. The Stronghold Dungeon was created as a natural habitat for those monsters that prefer to dwell in, well, dungeons. Most monsters are really peculiar about where they want to live. Anyway, the dungeon's library should be in this direction, underneath the sewers of the Stronghold Dungeon. We should split up so we can cover more ground in these labyrinth or labyrinthian corridors. I've never, like, heard that before. <laughs> I'll go ahead. Sounds good. So I actually also, if you guys notice that like the bottom, I have like extra monsters down here. Uh, some stuff you haven't seen. And that's just cause like I ended up exploring a little bit more and I uh, got to this ancient uh, forest woods area, which is like that uh, more like, I guess, teal green color. And pretty much uh, it had like some pretty cool stuff in there. And as well as like some pretty cool monsters. I'm searching for a monster that has like the earth orb uh, like out of combat thing to use, but I haven't been lucky enough to find it. And I have Frosty out just because Frosty's been pretty helpful with trying to get a lot of these jumps. Blades, you missed it. There was this champion monster. It looked so menacing with this champion aura and it just kept staring at me. And I don't know what came over me, but I just walked over to it and challenged it to a fight. And you know what? I actually beat it. I'm so proud of my monsters, but just as I was about to continue, another champion appeared, just like the first one. Well, and then you came, so I figured you can take care of this one. Go on, I'll watch from over here. Yo, <laughs> bitch made. Oh, snap, what the heck? This thing is resistant to wind uh, and does wind damage, so that's not good for Frosty. But it's good for Yaoi and Nova, so let's start this. So we'll start off with Glory Cast. Uh, it's pretty much my strategy with this team when I start off first round is always Glory Cast and then full offense because that gives three buffs to Nova. And then let's see which one does the most. I th guess Claws does the most. And we can get a bleed on there. That's what we're going to be trying for is to get the bleed. And you see how much damage I did just like off that first rotation. So after I get that through, that's when I pretty much just start attacking to chip away, apply status effects. Uh, now we'll use safe cast just to get some extra buffing in there. Some more. I'm trying to apply this bleed, but it's not applying, but it's all good. So we got our health regen and whatnot here. And then we also have Yaoi with the clutch heal. So I'm not like too worried at all really about it, honestly. I think we're in a good good space here. Uh, this is going like way better than I think like the previous champion fights. Um, way more confidence, I'll say. Uh, let me see, can I apply that again? Yeah, three buffs. And then Yaoi also has a passive where uh, it's like a 25% chance for him to like jump in and take damage for one of his allies. So I'm going to be making him like a big time tank for us. And so we'll just, we'll just see how that goes. I didn't even see what level this thing was. I have to go back and check. Wow, that was actually like a lot of damage there. On Frosty, I thought we had like a shield there, but I guess not. Or we do have a shield, it's just... We ran out of it, I guess. But pretty much that's like the bread and butter of the fight. Uh, not too stressful here. With this setup of Yaoi, Frosty. Uh, let's use Glory Cast again. Full offense. A good amount of rounds went by. And then our crit is also 
like I think 50% on Nova. And that's just because uh, I want to proc that more. We got a crit damage like bonus up as well. So Nova's going to be clutch for cleaning up all the trash for us. Just like that, we're done. What was that, like a two minute fight? Three stars, come on. So we got a Shuriken 2, which I think that's what I already have on Nova. You ascend to Keeper Seeker rank. New items available at the Trader Infinity Arena, now available in the Keeper's Tower. Okay. Let's uh, use these skills though. I'm trying to make it set up to where I have uh, a debuffer, a buffer, well, not debuffer, I have two buffers and then just straight damage. Look at that. The dungeon library should be behind that locked door. The key is probably in another part of the stronghold dungeon. I'll just take a quick rest here and think some new strategies for my monsters. Cool, let me see what's here. Oh, this connects us uh, up above where we weren't able to access. Oh no, this is like a new, wait, huh? Oh, I've been, okay, this is like a shortcut there. Okay, cool. I was like, wait a minute, like this looks awfully familiar. Let's try to get over there. Uh, I'll switch over. Oh, damn. Okay. Rain gem. These gems are actually pretty important to get for upgrading like our weapons and gear for our monsters. Yep, slime shot, that's what it's called. So once you get slime shot, you'll be able to uh, use the earth orbs in other areas. Oh, so many useless books. Where's that book of history? Bal Balalar? Balalar? I don't know. That strange person wears the same kind of clothes that the alchemist we saw in blue caves. I sense that this person didn't come here with good intentions. We might have to fight his team of monsters to apprehend him. In that case, the same rules apply as for regular Keeper duels, except there's more on the line than usual. Oh, what a surprise! A Keeper of Monsters? Hey, that wouldn't have to be a Spectral Familiar, would it? What if I am a Spectral Familiar? How marvelous! Not only a Keeper of Monsters, but a Keeper of a Spectral Familiar as well, oh my. This one seems really strange. I have a bad feeling. Wow, I didn't expect the lodge to be this big, and the books are in pretty good quality too. But wait, there's another one of the alchemists. Oh, what a blessed day. We came in search of old books and instead we found two keepers of spectral familiars. We? What is that supposed to mean? Hey, Valalar. I don't know how to say his name. But what's happening in here? Are we having a party? And his name is Chimes. Not as such chimes, even though there might be cause for celebration very soon. Yeah, I see. Two spectral keepers, huh? The master will be quite pleased with us. <laughs> these two are both really creepy. We should be careful. Hella creepy. Like, these are like old farts being like, Oh, look what we have here. Some little kids. Hey, what do you people want? We're not afraid of you. That's good. It gives us a surprise advantage. You take care of the other one. Balar, I want this one. Looks like it's time to fight. So Will is like now like our... Rival slash, like, friend for saving the world, it seems. Looks like it's time to fight. We shouldn't lose this one. Uh, damn. Level 15s at that. I'm not a feel about this, but oh well. Damn, that actually hurt. I'm like, is there anything? Oh. 
Yeah, we'll try to... We'll try to take them out. We have a way better chance now of actually, like, taking them out quicker, though. With this setup, I believe. So let, let's see how it goes. One down. Yeah, take take that hit for the team, bro. But I got I had to figure out a way to like protect Boba during these fights, and it seemed like that was my best bet. I think these other ones are like pretty weak. Plus we got like the team heal, so I'll heal up with Yowie in a bit because we got our, our mana up as well. Now Cat's Erector hits pretty hard, I think. So it's also going to be good that we take him out. Yeah, look at that. And that's like with just a magic buff on him? We're doing that so that way I can uh, heal up on the next round. Ooh. Damn, that was close. I really don't like Frosty. <laughs> Ooh, and we got the bleed. Frosty! <laughs> Yeah, we'll, we'll swap you in. Now we can just grind them down now. These last two, they didn't, they didn't cause us that much trouble. Dang, those dodges though, so these things have, have like really good uh, agility. Or maybe it's like some of those buffs that they applied there. I'm trying to get some better crits. Not letting me. That said five buffs? Damn. Dang, you dodged like damn near all of them. <laughs> okay, it doesn't matter which one we do. Get out of here. A level ups to 15. And we got a reward box. Clutch. Hmm. Looks like I was getting ahead of myself. I won't be so careless next time. Oh, but looks like Chimes was more successful than me. Perhaps there can be a celebration after all. Oh, no, wait, they took Will? Enjoy your books. We have s something more valuable than this whole library. Like the whole reason we came here was because of Will. That was odd. We should check on Will. They, oh man, don't tell me they, they took it. I can't believe it. How could this happen? How could they do this? I've never heard about something like this happening. 
I think something really wrong happened. Yeah, they, they took him. They took uh, his spectral toad. His monster were just too powerful. I lost against him, but I don't understand what happened afterwards. It just makes no sense. No matter how many times I go over it in my head, my familiar's gone. It just disappeared after I lost the battle. My own father gave me my familiar. I have brought shame on my entire family. We understand your sorrow, Will, but your familiar can't be gone forever. We are immortal after all. Nothing can really harm us. Toad will be fine, I can promise you that. All of us familiars have been alive for longer than we can even remember. You're right. Thank you. And don't forget that we came here for a reason. We can't let it be in vain because of this loss. Yes, the library. That's at least something, isn't it? Maybe it's not so bad. Whatever happened, I have to find a way to reverse it. We'll find it together. If they attack one of us, they attack all of us. Right, Blades? Thank you. That is good to know. But I know my strengths and Reacher is what I'm best at. So I'll be sifting through these books if it's alright with you. It will give me time to think. Meet me back at the regular library in the Keeper Stronghold later. I hope that he'll be alright. I know it's devastating for him, but it is really concerning that they were able to do this sort of thing. I am less worried about us familiars and more worried about the sanctuary itself. Who knows what the alchemists are planning. We should meet up with Will at the library and the Keeper Stronghold later. Yeah, but let me go over... Uh, what is up with these, like, little blitz that I can't get through? But, alright, let's see about getting back to that library at the Stronghold. Alright guys, we're back here at the library. Let's talk to Will. Hey, I've just been thinking about some things. It feels so strange not to have my spectral familiar with anymore. Your familiar won't be gone for very long, Will. We're on to the alchemists. Don't forget what I told you. They attack one of us, they attack all of us. Alright, Nova, say it. Say it with your chest. Thank you. It means a lot to me to know that you and Blades will help me. And I still have my other monsters as well. Just because I don't have my spectral familiar more doesn't mean I'm not being a monster keeper. I just know what my spectral toad would want me to continue as a monster keeper. So I'll continue traveling the sanctuary and searching for more hints about the alchemist. Sounds good, Will. We wish you good luck for your travels. I did find some information in one of the books, though. So around 300 years ago, the ancient order of alchemists came to the sanctuary after they were banished everywhere else. They somehow managed to break through the sanctuary's magical barrier and enter the sanctuary. Eventually, they revealed themselves to the monster keepers. The leader of the alchemists, Marduk, made a grand speech trying to appeal to monster keepers. He spoke of pushing back against those that had pushed them all into the sanctuary. With the combined power of the monster sanctuary and the alchemist, they'd be able to conquer the old world. However, most of the monster keepers were unwilling to start a war against the old world. As the current keeper master put it, the sanctuary was all that they needed and there was no reason for bloodshed. They allowed the alchemist to stay regardless, which was a mistake. The alchemists were bitter and angry about the fact that they were constrained to live in the monster sanctuary. In times of old, they used to practice their craft for the kings of the old world, earning plenty of riches and fame for their order. The alchemists plotted a conspiracy and gathered monster keepers around them that aligned with their worldviews. In their view, monsters were nothing but a tool to be used to regain the power they once had in the old world. Luckily, the alchemists got caught before they could spring their plan into action. The monster keepers believed that they put an end to the ancient order of alchemists. Well, looks like they failed to do that, guys. But for some reason, this sounds like some Team Rocket plot to me about seeing Pokemon as like tools, uh, the same way that these monster keepers are seeing them. However, the leader of the alchemist, Marduk, was never found. There were rumors that Marduk had found a way to gain immortality for himself. Oh, wow. So perhaps he's still around somewhere in the sanctuary. It says that he always wore a devil mask. That's all I could find. Perhaps if we find more alchemists, we can get more information from them. Okay, that was a lot. So we got the alchemist plot. Oh wow, so we visit our parents. We should visit your parents sometime. Their room was right above the entrance to the Stronghold Dungeon, right? Uh, I don't remember. Nah, that's not our parents' room. I guess where I see, uh, all the way over there to like the right, not the not the shirt icon, but there's like a room below it. Let's go see what our parents gotta say. What up, mom? You're a keeper seeker already. That means you're not a beginner anymore. Okay. There you are. You're a keeper seeker now, aren't you? Well done. 
That's the first step to becoming a Monster Keeper legend. <laughs> Here, take this reward. And we got a reward box, another one, okay? Do you treat Nova properly? He always served me well. Well, let's use those items, actually, these reward boxes. We'll open both. Stardust, required to evolve certain monsters. Low fly egg. Low fly? Okay, what's the glow fly? Oh, it's one of the things we just fought. The one thing I find cool too is like, as you hatch eggs, they're always gonna be like two levels below your max level. So level 13. So if you end up finding like uh, one of the monster eggs that you like, and you don't wanna hatch it like right away, you can save it. That way you'll have it at a higher level whenever you do become ready to hatch it. So let's look at these skills. And again, I'm cutting this out because this is stuff I care about. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got to do next. So we're going to do Goblin Riot. So we should be on the lookout for bands of goblins in the ancient woods. Supposedly there's a goblin king in charge of them. There has to be a reason for their unruly behavior. We should look in the ancient woods for clues. So that'll be our next destination, guys. But I think I'm going to end the video off right here. Hope you guys enjoy. We ended up fighting a champion as well as fighting one of the alchemists. Whooped that ass a little bit. And... Unfortunately, Will lost his spectral toad, but just for now, it seems. So hopefully we get some more answers in like the next couple of episodes, but I hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure you leave a like for the video. It helps out the video a lot. And also subscribe to my channel because it lets me know you enjoy the content you see right here. But with that said, stay sharp. Later.